Hi friends, in this video, we will see how to add error bar to the graph. So for that, first let's import some data with standard deviation. So here is some data that uh, I had selected. This is an Excel file. This is the, um, this data contain the concentration of one of the precursors used in synthesis of a nanoparticle. And this is the size that we obtained from XRD. This is in nanometer. And this is the standard deviation found. Uh, we had repeated the analysis uh, and the standard deviation is taken from that by comparing different size with same concentration. So standard deviation is found like that. Now this is the data that we have to plot. So standard deviation is set as the error or error bar. So for that, first let's copy this data to origin. To the origin interface, let's add one more column. This is the option to add new column. So with this three column, let's paste this data here. All right. So this names, we can delete it. Now this is in order. So this X, the first column is the concentration. Then second column is the size. And third column is the standard deviation. So concentration is in mold, molar, molarity I mean. So, and size is in nanometer and standard deviation is again in nanometers. So, this is the data that we have to plot with error bars. So, let's check without error bar. Select this data. Go to this option. Here we have a line plus symbol option where the line will be displayed along with symbols that show the points so this is how the graph will look like means here the points are connected by lines so that option is the line plus symbol so now to this graph we have to add the error bars so go to book one now select column c and then right click onto it and then click on to set test and then select Y error. As we have, we are to uh, plot the error for Y axis or the error in size when the concentration is varied. So this is the error in Y. So select Y error. All right. Now our this is the X axis. This is the Y axis, and the C is the error. Now you check. Uh, now you select all the three options here. Then go to again go to the option line plus symbol. So here it is. Here you can see that the graph is plotted along with the error bars. Now we can modify it. We can increase the size. Uh, we can make it bold and all the modification can be done on this graph. Similarly, let's see how to plot this as bar graph. So this is the option. We have column plot here. So uh, click on to column then you can see that with each concentration the size is given and the corresponding error in size is plotted as bar graphs so with this um, annotation as error or y of error we can try plotting it with different plotting options so you can check it by bar stack columns and all these plotting options here Two point segment without that uh, uh, line you can check the errors so these different floating options you can check with this same set of error data so this is the error graph in which we added the error bar so the size of the error bar represent the percentage of error or the standard deviation in this data so a perfect graph will always contain error bars or will always say about the standard deviation. So hope you understood the, this and if you are new to this channel 
Please subscribe the channel and also click the bell icon so that you will be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.